Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. It has been a couple days since I last filmed. The last video you would have seen if you guys have been following me on YouTube would have definitely been my birthday vlog. So thank you everybody who watched it and pseudo celebrated with me on YouTube. I had an amazing time. It definitely was not a birthday I expected to celebrate in quarantine but we still made the best of it and I had a lot of fun. I'm back today with kind of like a haul slash review and this is a brand new company that I have never purchased from before but I've been seeing them get so much hype on Instagram and people have been loving them on YouTube as well I decided to take the plunge grab a couple things myself and to review to you guys let you know what I think about this company and their products and if you guys should be investing your money into it as well so let's just dive right into this set active review so I've been seeing set active everywhere on Instagram and on YouTube and everybody seems to be loving it. it is quite a new brand to the athletic wear world I believe they haven't been around for too long so I was a little bit unsure as to why they suddenly gained so much popularity and why everybody was wearing their stuff I decided that I wanted to try it out because I actually was really drawn into them when I saw that they had these one shoulder tops here I thought it was really cute these would also serve great as just like tanks and like crop tops that you can wear in the summer outside of wearing them to work out which is primarily why I was drawn to them. I have never actually seen any sort of other athleisure wear or workout brand produce or manufacture or sell one-sided shoulder tops like this so I was genuinely curious to see if they would withstand a workout and I will let you guys know what they do but let's just first dive right into my experience of shopping with this company. Set Active is a Los Angeles brand and they're very well known on Instagram for releasing these matching sets tops and bottoms they typically have like one type of legging and then like I think five or six different style bra tops and they release them in like families of colors so they'll release like one colorway and all the styles in that one colorway until it's completely sold out before they release a new collection with a different color which is actually if you think about it on a marketing perspective for them like really smart because then all the colors become exclusive and if you don't manage to snag a color that you want during a collection drop you probably won't be able to get a hold of it again which is why I think a lot of people are like really jumping into this brand because a lot of their colors are essentially just like released for those exclusive one releases and they're never back ever again so you just want to get it when you get your hands on it now I've heard a lot of things about set active in the sense that they only produce a really limited quantity of products within each collection which makes it really hard for anybody to get a hold of them I have read a lot of reviews online where people literally had pieces in their shopping cart they've tried to check out and then as soon as they check out all the stuff has already been purchased essentially they haven't been fast enough to pick it up so I was a little bit concerned when I placed the order and I wasn't sure whether or not I'd be able to get all of these pieces luckily I actually ended up getting everything that I wanted so I was really happy with that overall my shopping experience for me was that I found out about this brand a couple months ago I've been watching them for quite a while online every time went onto their site and I found colors that I like they were always sold out in my size in a specific style so essentially the legging style are like pretty universal it's the exact same legging every single time just re released in a different color the tops have a different couple of options and there were specific styles that I personally like that I think I enjoy wearing when working out and I can also foresee myself wearing them outside of working out as well my issue was that I would find the leggings in the color that I liked and the size that I wanted but then when it came to finding the matching top the specific style would be sold out my size or vice versa I'd find the bra that I liked in my size and color and then when I went to go find the matching leggings that pair of leggings were sold out in my color completely so I was kind of bummed and I actually put off purchasing anything from Set Active for a couple of months but then I found out that they were restocking their core collection and I believe their core collection consists of like three different colorways there is this like dark gray color I think a black color and this like beige color I don't remember all the colors for the core collection off the top of my head but I will include them right here on the side somewhere and essentially this core collection they're going to be mass producing quantities of it so that you can always get your hands on it and then all the other limited edition colors will be produced in I guess in limited quantities <laughs> so that you can only get them when they're released. So I had my heart set on one of the shades in the core collection which is this kind of like oat milk or oat color. Looks like this. And then I also bought another set in I think this is called Wave. I'm gonna have to double check in my emails in this sort of like gray green kind of turquoise color. So what I noticed from a lot of their color ranges is that they really tend to enjoy either pastels or gray tone shades which is perfect right now because all those style of shades are really really trendy online so if you're trying to get your hands on workout wear in these types of colors and shades outside of your usual blacks grays and like fluorescent reds yellow primary colors then set active is where you're going to want to be in order to get colors like this when it comes to your workout wear so my shopping experience I was able to get everything and I checked out literally instantly as soon as the core collection redropped onto their site and I was actually more surprised because I purchased this on a Monday and all of these things arrived by 
like Wednesday in the afternoon literally less than 48 hours and everything had arrived I was definitely not expecting that whatsoever at all I was fully expecting that my order would be placed take like a day to process take another day to like fulfill and pack and then probably like five to seven days to ship here I was fully expecting this to turn into a seven to ten business day adventure and I would probably forget about it by next week so I was very impressed by how quickly they processed fulfilled shipped and delivered this package to me everything arrived perfectly by Wednesday in the afternoon and I have no qualms whatsoever at all with the delivery because this is probably even faster sometimes than Amazon so quite happy with that so we're gonna jump right into the pieces that I ordered I actually have my phone here to reference the name of everything because I'm definitely not gonna be able to remember this and I will let you guys know the name and the color of the item that I bought so we'll dive in starting off with the leggings this is in the color wave like I said all the leggings are the exact same style so you don't need to choose from like different lengths or I guess patterns or anything but they essentially look like this and if you guys are going into this thinking that these are seamless leggings they absolutely are not there is definitely a seam in the inside here of your thigh and there's like gusseting around the crotch area right here I believe that's what it's called overall though outside of that there are no other seams there's no seam where the waistband connects to the leggings on the leg part and there's no seam in the crotch or in like the bum area area right here the only seam you're gonna see is in the center going up and down in the middle of the thighs so I thought that was pretty interesting it was really easy to slide on and off the material itself is actually super cool to the touch and this is not one of those like really thin yoga pant materials if you guys really like the Lululemon Align leggings and I love those they literally make you feel like you're naked and you're not wearing anything whatsoever at all because the material is so thin but still crazy durable it blows me away how durable those pair of leggings are but these are definitely a lot thicker of a material and they have much more stretch into them so it really helps you feel like you're compacted in these pants I don't want to compare it to this but it kind of feels like your sausage and sausage casings which mm, some people may or may not like personally I like it because I like to feel like really tight and secure when I'm wearing my leggings first thing that I really liked about this is the thick waistband right here so I have a problem with a lot of high-waisted leggings because I really like my leggings to be as high-waisted as possible to really like tuck everything in in that sometimes the waistbands at the top kind of curl over when you lean down or as you're working out they kind of like bunch up like this this one is nice and thick and it's actually constructed really well so that when you lean over it doesn't really bunch up too much yes it does fold down a little bit here and there when you're moving and like doing out workouts but overall these leggings stay nice and high up on your waist and it makes you feel nice and secure moving down here there's this like semicircle pattern that goes around to the top of the waistband and it goes around the sides of the legs and it creates this kind of striated striped pattern of stitching on the material here it's still part of the material but I think it's just the way that the elastic and whatever fiber it is is weaved into it and this gives it kind of like a stretchier thinner area I don't know exactly how to explain it it's like ribbed it's quite comfortable you don't really notice it and when you take your leggings off you don't necessarily see these weird rib lines on your legs which is nice because sometimes right after you work out you want to be able to throw on something cute and go outside and you don't really want to walk outside with these weird stripes going up and down your legs so this ribbing goes all the way down to the bottom of the leg where your ankle hits but it doesn't leave those weird striated patterns on your legs so I'm happy with that the middle material here is a smooth very soft material this one glides right over your legs and it doesn't like bunch in any weird spots whatsoever at all it is very thick though and I've noticed that when I wear my panties you don't see your underwear underneath if there's a pattern or a design on it but with these leggings they definitely do show off your panty lines if your panty lines kind of like cut into your butts a little bit so be wary of that so if you are conscious about underwear lines I would definitely recommend going for a thong something seamless or more of a full coverage so you don't see it cutting like right into the butt area but besides that the material itself is really thick and you don't really see too much through it I found that these were pretty comfortable and working out I wore them all day long I did some exercises in them and I didn't feel overly hot or sweaty when I was wearing them which is a huge plus something that I'm not a fan of when it comes to leggings is that some of them do get a little bit sweaty I know my aloe yoga leggings are really thick and some of them don't really breathe as well as others I think it's probably just the material that they're made of and I found that they really made my legs sweat when I worked out and I don't like that feeling I'm somebody who likes to stay cool and calm and collected when I'm working out and these leggings from set active actually do help with that they keep me really nice and cool and it kind of like wicks the sweat away with the material next we're gonna move on to the hem at the bottom so at the ankle there is a thick band right here it is stitched in and I believe that that's just to secure the bottom so it doesn't fray by the hem it doesn't really bother me the only thing I would note is that the stitching and the hemming is done on the inside and it leaves like a very small indentation on your ankle like a line going across where the stitching here kind of presses into your 
your skin. So just be wary of that when you're taking your leggings off. You may see an indentation around your ankles, but it goes away pretty quickly and it's not a big issue to me. I really like these pants because the logo on these are actually super subtle. I know Aloe Yoga puts them at the back of your calf near your knee and Lululemon does it like around your butt area and I think also around the calf as well. But Set Active actually puts the branding at the very bottom of the hem where your ankle is. So it's really subtle and it's sewn directly into the material. It's not like an applique of any sorts. I think they just switched up the stitching and it just says set right there. So super unobtrusive and it doesn't look like it's been overly branded from far away. Other than that, the inside, there are no tags. All the information is more or less kind of like heat stamped onto the back of your pants. These may over time kind of peel off as you wash them depending on how cold or how hot your water is. But overall leggings, super comfy. I like them. They are very tight. So it took me a little while to kind of pull them on. They're not leggings that you can just like slide your feet right through and they'll slip right on. You definitely have to wiggle around in them, pull them up a little bit, but otherwise they're very comfortable and they don't feel too tight that they're uncomfortable. When you work out on these, they're very flexible and overall quite comfy. So to match the leggings, I did buy a matching top and I did want a full matching set so that, I don't know, it just would look cute. I have a lot of leggings already that don't have matching sets and I figured I would love to have a matching set. So I went ahead and got the ribbed one shoulder top also in the wave color and it looks like this. By the way, all the pieces that I purchased are in an extra small if you guys are curious, tops and bottoms. Just for reference if you guys have similar sizes to me and you can also base off of my sizing what your sizing might be. I heard recent, up until recently um, Set Active actually paired off all of their tops as like extra small slash small and then small slash medium and then medium slash large so it made it really difficult for people to determine what size they were and I guess they responded to all this feedback and actually made specific sizing to their top that matters to you guys just putting it out there so I got the ribbed one shoulder top and I would definitely definitely clarify that I have very small boobs so when it comes to working out I don't need that much support up here although if I'm doing hit workouts or cardio I do like to have quite a bit of support because it hurts when these sisters jiggle around you guys probably already know but if you guys do have bigger breasts then I definitely wouldn't say that this is the most supportive bra they do say directly on their site that there's light support in this but because there's only shoulder strap on one side one of your breasts definitely won't be supported upwards and you may feel it kind of loose the bandeau portion of this is actually also quite thin so if you even have bigger breasts they may not feel like they're secure and fully into here I don't know if I would necessarily trust wearing this to do cardio or hit in if I had a larger breast than I have I literally have like a 30a so they stay in but anything bigger than that may actually probably just like fly out it's quite tight across the top here like don't get me wrong it's not like it's loose or anything but it's literally tight enough to just like sit on your skin and not cut into your skin it definitely is not a tight enough elastic across the top to like secure anything in there like permanently, just to keep in mind. And then the bottom here has a thick-ish kind of band for the hem, but it's not an overly thick band and it definitely can roll up and like ride up quite easily. So if you're concerned that they might slip out from underneath here, chances are they might because there's not that much coverage with this top. Overall, I think the top is really cute. It fits me. If I had a bigger chest, I probably wouldn't be able to fit into it. So just keep that in mind. I like that the arms are not too large either. They fit really nicely underneath my shoulder here into my armpit. So it doesn't look like it comes really low and gives off too much side boob. At the same time, it's not overly tight and it doesn't make me feel like I'm being suffocated either because sometimes I do get that from one shoulder tops just because they're trying to keep the whole top up. It's like really tight on this side and it's super uncomfortable. I found this to be very comfortable and I was a big fan of it. I actually just liked the look of it overall and I was pretty happy with how it fit when I tried it on. Last thing I want to mention is the logo for set is also embroidered directly into the material here. It's just sewn directly on so there's no strange applique or anything and it's actually relatively quite discreet. If you have a large enough chest that will kind of like push it over, you may actually even cover the logo so you may not see it but for me my chest is a very tiny so you definitely will see it on me and once again all the information is kind of heat stamped onto the back of the bra right here there are no cups for this like there is no lining in here so I would definitely say that if you do have a larger nipples you may see them through this I found that over time it kind of like smoothed down my boobs a little bit and you didn't really see nipple but when I first put it on you definitely did see a nipple definition so just another thing to keep in mind overall I like this set and I felt that it was extremely comfortable I would probably wear this bra top outside as well with just like high-waisted shorts or I would even wear this whole outfit out because it looks really cute. Okay, so that is it for the wave set. So I did buy another set and the other set is part of the core collection. The wave set is not part of the core collection. It's just one of their most recent color releases. In the core collection, I picked up the oat milk shade and it looks like this. It's like a nice beige with like all of the yellow undertones. I really liked it because I don't have any workout clothes in this color. When it comes to white, I get really anxious because one, it's going to get dirty super easily. And then two, you're going to see visible panty lines or like literally any of your undergarments or anything that's like 
like colored darker than your skin tone usually is pretty visible so wasn't a fan of that so I was really happy that I was able to find a set that's beige and not white so first things first leggings exact same one as the other one I haven't worked out in these ones yet they're still brand new but I did try them on to see how they fit and you guys will see in the cutaway somewhere these ones are a little bit more visible when it comes to your underwear you can definitely see some color in the cutaway I was wearing black underwear so you can kind of see where it's a little bit darker and at the same time you can still see visible panty line so I would recommend with these ones probably go with more of a nude colored underwear and something's a little bit more invisible if you don't want visible panty lines but other than that the material is relatively thick I think if I went with any of the color other than black like even a dark red or something you probably would have been able to see it too easily through this since the material is a little bit thicker than other leggings when you bend over it's not as easy to see the underwear material straight through it and it's not one of those types of leggings where when you bend over you can literally see like everything underneath I know Lululemon had a reputation of that for a while for their black leggings of like literally any color you could think of so strange should not be happening but these ones are so thick and the weave is really tight so you don't really see much when you bend over in them I like these I would only just be a little bit concerned that I probably get these like super dirty so I will not be working with these outdoors these probably will be reserved only for working out at home and notice when I can maintain the color integrity of these because I will definitely get these so dirty. So to match with the leggings I actually got three different bra tops and I know you're probably gonna be like Vic that is excessive was that necessary to get three different bra tops for literally one pair of leggings. Now let me explain my rationale. I wanted a bunch of different bra tops that I could also wear outside of working out as well. I've tried a couple of bra tops on from other brands and I didn't really like them and I actually just like the way this material clung to my skin and kind of like shaped and formed my body which is why I I picked up a couple of extra ones and I figured if they didn't work I would just return them so first one I picked was the rib one shoulder top fits the exact same way as the wave colored one this one is a little bit lighter but it doesn't really show anything through again like I said it does show nip a little bit if you are cold but after a while I found that it did smooth out my nips a little bit and you didn't really see that definition anywhere again no cups inserted into here whatsoever at all so if you do want to get cups in this I would probably say like dig out a pair of cups from another bra and maybe like lightly sew it into the inner lining because it is two layers here so you can sew it into the inner side of the material and you won't be able to see the stitching on the outside and that's how you can get some additional lining and support on here but similar to the other one really small bendo coverage so if you have a larger chest you may not necessarily fit through this I just love the way it looked and I can definitely foresee myself wearing this with a pair of like high-waisted flat jeans to the beach or something so huge fan of this one next top that I got is just your simple box top and I believe that's what they call this the box but shoulder straps are just like a basic simple tank top front and back nothing crazy about this this also comes in the ribbed material and it's extremely stretchy as well I found this one to be super super comfy and this is primarily one of the ones that I wanted to be able to wear outside as like a bra top with high-waisted bike shorts <laughs> First thing that came to mind, bike shorts and maybe like a blouse over top. I have been looking for a bra top like this for a while now. A lot of the ones that I've seen have cups built into them. And for me, somebody with like really small boobs, when it comes to having cups built into your bra top, sometimes they show off and you can see the lining of the cups because your breasts aren't big enough to like really fill it out. And I wasn't the biggest fan of that. So I like that this one literally had no cupping inside of it. If you guys have bigger chests than me, once again, you may or may not like this because there is not a lot of support in it. It's definitely like a little bit more support than the one shoulder top but not as much as like say ones with cups inside of them so be wary of that again the logo on this one is sewn directly into the material so super unobtrusive and overall if your chest is big enough you'll be able to hide it if it spills over the hemline but I found this one to be super comfy and I really like the style I think that the way that this is cut is actually really flattering and I would love to get more of these bra tops literally just in this style myself just to be able to have other ones to rotate through in the summer the very last bra top that i got from set active is actually also called the box but this one's called the box x so this one is not in the rib material i believe this one is the same material that is in the kind of like the flat part of the pants here remember how i showed you guys that there's ribbing on the edges and in the middle it's like a flat paneling that is what this bra top is made out of overall everywhere and it has super super stretchy material much stretchier than the ribbed tops so actually if anything i feel like those rib tops might have a little bit more support since the material is a little bit tighter but i like this one because back crisscrosses like an x and this is actually my favorite style of sports bra when it comes to working out i don't like something that goes just directly over my shoulders because i find that then the straps always fall off when i'm working out and i also really like a lot of back to be exposed because i sweat a lot for my back when i work out sorry team my guys and i like that this doesn't cover a lot i'm gonna hold it upside down because it's really hard for me to hold this right side up without it falling apart actually i got it i think so it shows off a lot of back which allows my back to really 
really breathe and just release a lot of sweat when I'm working out, which I'm a huge fan of. The straps themselves are quite long. They're not too tight, which I liked. They don't cut into my armpit and like lift my boobs up too high. And once again, all of the logo is embroidered directly into the middle of the sports bra at the band at the bottom right here. This one is really, really stretchy, a lot more forgiving than the other one material wise. Once again, no cups into here, so not a lot of support, but I think because it does have like a crisscross back, it provides like slightly more of a support than the regular box cut. So this is the oat milk in the box X. Top. One thing I do want to mention is with Set Active, all their items are priced individually, but they do give you, I think, an $11 discount when you buy any bra top with leggings. They instantly give you $11 off, so it comes out to be like $99. Keep in mind that everything on the site is actually priced at USD, so you will have to do some conversions if you're not living in the US. I think I, all in all, with this whole set, spent around like $300 some dollars. It came out to almost like $400-ish dollars for me, Canadian. And then when it did arrive, I had to pay duties. Unfortunately, it wasn't that expensive. I've purchased things from ASOS before and the duties came out to like literally 50% of what I spent. The duties on this entire haul right here of like six pieces for $400 only came out to around 25 something I believe. So it was fairly affordable duty wise. I was pretty happy with that. I was fully expecting at least like 50 to $75 on duties because I've paid a lot more before and other things. I just paid like I think $200 in duties for some stuff that just came in from New York. So that's a whole other story. But duties in this one, I was not too caught off guard by it and I was pretty happy with that. Overall, I really liked the feel of these workout pieces. I found that they're actually relatively comfortable. They weren't too tight where you felt like you were being congested in certain areas. I had that issue with some sports bras where it feels like my chest is being compressed in and I'm not comfortable whatsoever at all. Same with the leggings. I really liked that the leggings gave me a lot of support in the tummy area and stayed upright and didn't roll over when I worked out. And I also also like that a lot of these sports bras I could reuse and convert for outside wear outside of working out as well which was really nice so I get multi-purpose out of these granted if you guys do have a larger chest I don't think that these will necessarily give you a lot of support these are probably not really workout pieces that you would do like an intense crazy cardio or hit workout in I can definitely foresee myself just doing some like easy body weight stuff at home and anything that involves more like stationary workouts or like floor workouts but if you're gonna be like dancing around doing cardio crazy up and down jumping jacks you might not get the support you need in this and you might not feel like everything's held in place nicely if that makes sense to me I think that these are more for like light to intermediate workouts for a heavy workout I would probably veer away from these. The leggings I would keep, the tops not so much because they don't have that much support in them. Overall, would I repurchase again? Probably. The shipping rate is a flat fee of $20 USD to get to Canada. So for myself, I'd probably have to order a lot of pieces again just to justify it just because I don't want to pay $20 to ship every single time if I'm only ordering like two pieces. So that's the only hard thing for me is just that shipping is a little bit expensive and you do have to pay duties. But overall, I was pretty happy with this collection. Would I buy from Active again? Probably. I really like the material and the fit of it, so I would personally recommend it. I totally get what the hype is. Everything looks really cute on, feels really nice on, and also photographs really well, and can also double as casual everyday wear as well, which is fantastic. You don't need to wear it exclusively for working out, so huge fan of that. Do I think you guys should check them out? Yes, but just do be careful and keep in mind how supportive these bra tops are if you guys have a larger chest than I do. If you guys have any specific colors that you think I would really like, let me know in the comments down below. If you guys also own set active pieces yourself, let me know. I'd love to know what you guys think of them and if you've worked out in them, if you've liked it for that or not. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you guys want to keep seeing video reviews like this. I will catch you guys on Instagram if you want to follow me right here. I post like pretty frequently so you guys can see like daily updates from me. Otherwise, I will be back in the next video, I believe Thursday. I think this one's going to be going out for Sunday. Yeah, I will see you guys on Thursday for my next video. Have a great day. Bye.